I guess any piece of advice for parents, like if you see some of these ideologies being taught to your little one in school, like at what point is it worth setting up a meeting with the staff? At what point is it worth maybe getting vocal, trying to talk to other parents? Like when is it you making a mountain out of a molehill or Mm. is it all something to be concerned about? Well, I, I think given the way things are at the moment, particularly in education, that parents need to be proactive around, you know, considering what their children are being taught. Because I've had a lot of parents come to me and say that they had absolutely no idea that their child was being taught these materials until, you know, years later, um, sometimes even after the child has left school. And it's only once they began asking questions, you know, asking to see materials, et cetera, that they discovered what was happening. And it's a shame that it's come to that because parents should be able to entrust their children to schools. But, you know, these are the times we're living in. So I'd, I'd encourage parents to kind of be proactive in that respect because so much of this has been drip fed in schools. You know, if a child is coming home saying that they're feeling that they're trapped in the wrong body, it, it puts parents in a very difficult position. And I, I don't have kids myself. So, I, you know, I can only base this on conversations I've had with others and what I can imagine it would feel like. But uh, as best as possible, to try and strike the right balance. Because again, I've, I've spoken to parents who said that they were so fearful of, you know, their child hurting or killing themselves that they kind of went completely along with it and their child, you know, went down this medical pathway and now regrets it and the parent feels gu- guilty for the rest of their lives. And I've spoken to other parents who came down really strongly and said, you know, none of this. They didn't even entertain a conversation with the child on, you know, under no circumstances are you doing this. And that child became alienated from the family, you know, went to university, stopped speaking to the parents and has transitioned anyway. And now they've got no contact with with each other. And that's not good. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's about making sure the children feel empathized with that they feel listened to and understood but that as a parent as an adult you have safeguarding at the front of your mind and you know reminding children that they still haven't got everything figured out even though they might think they do you know and that you know as an adult you have more life experience to to go on because I don't know it's it's it, it's almost the impossible we're asking of parents in many ways it's such it's such a fine line to balance but I would avoid extreme reactions one way or the other because we know the implications that can have. No, that's a really good. That's a really good piece of advice. Mm-hmm. Well, James, I hope, like we said before we started recording, that this will be, this will not be relevant in years to come, and we'll look back and be like, I can't believe that we we were doing all of that, and um, let's protect our kids a little bit more and a lot of it more mm-hmm. um and that everyone i don't know ask questions i think that that's the big the big thing is ask your kid questions every day when my kid comes home like what'd you guys talk about what'd you learn today um so just it's extreme presence and love your kid yeah i think i think that's a lot of it and i i want to share your optimism i'm, I'm not sure whether i do um because i tend to be pessimistic anyway but i you know, there's, there have been some positive changes, particularly in the United Kingdom over recent times. So I, I hope that we as a community, as a society can come together and actually think, you know, what what have we done? And just start putting children first in all of this because, you know, it, it, it pains me the thoughts, you know, every day that goes by, there are more and more children suffering and potentially being placed down these pathways towards, you know, eternal regret you know and sometimes like it it, that becomes quite overwhelming because i think you know god we we need to sort this out today but it's not going to be sorted out today because this is an ideology that's kind of spread around the entire globe so we just need to kind of chip away at it you know one step at a time and it it could take a while but I, i hope in the end we get there